welcome back to Grammy. In this video, we are going to be talking about where is Carlton. As always, please remember to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to be notified of all future Grammy related news. Just south of Ottawa City Centre, Carleton University's campus sits within 100 acres of land and lies between the Rideau River and the historic Rideau Canal. It also has a 5 kilometer network of underground tunnels that connects all of the university's buildings. The university's beautiful Riverside campus provides a picturesque and stimulating environment in which to live and study. Comprises many prominent buildings, including the 22 story Dunton Tower, the K Lash Metal Theater, which sits up to 444 people, and the Minto Center for Advanced Studies in Engineering. The campus itself is surrounded by many well known tech companies, and the university prides itself on its graduates' entrepreneurial spirit. Carleton's proximity to government institutions, libraries, media, and a thriving knowledge economy makes Carleton a great place to learn and live. 10 places to eat on campus from full-service dining, bakers located on the fourth floor in the university center, to all-you-can-eat cafeteria, fresh food company located on the third floor in Residence Commons. When you need your coffee, choose from several locations, including Starbucks in the library and university center, Second Cup in the canal building first floor, and Tim Hortons, which are in several locations, including the Athletics Building, University Center, and the River Building overlooking the Rideau River. For 40 years, Mike's Place, located on the second floor of the University Center, has been Carlton's grad-owned and operated pub on campus, and on the floor below, you'll find Oliver's. For health and wellness, Carlton's athletic facilities are one of your one-stop shop for all things athletics. With an air-conditioned triple gymnasium, a double gymnasium, a 50 meter L-shaped pool, ice house, fitness center, cardio room, yoga room, multi-purpose and combative rooms, outdoor fields, and tennis courts, you'll quickly run out of reasons why you can't get into shape. Health and Counseling Service is your health and wellness center on campus. For medical problems that are episodic in nature, visit the walk-in doctor. And for any dental needs, uh, Alina Dental is located on the second floor of the Technology and Training Center. Carlton has fantastic bars for legal students to feel classy, including Oliver's Pub and Patty's Place. Freshman bars are also located in in Ontario, including Greasy Cat, Mardi Has, and Le Pub for students who haven't reached the legal age yet. Carlton is also known for its unique game, referred to as Panda Game. This fame includes some activities, one of which is Canal Woods Drive. The Canal Woods Drive is often marked as a form of street party. Uh, the university also hosts an interesting St. Paddy's Day event, and their celebration could rival the best ones. Aberdeen Street is the hub for social events in Carleton, and students rarely miss any of these well-hyped celebrations. Attraction sites and events near Carleton University include the Carleton University Art Gallery, the Fletcher Wildlife Garden, the Canada Agriculture and Food Museum, the Arboretum, which are in Experimental Farm, Murder Mystery Ottawa, and Brew Donkey Tours. Carlton is just minutes away from Ottawa, which makes the travel to the university easy and accessible from any direction of the city. Via Highway 417, the Highway 417 runs east and west through the center of the city of Ottawa. Exit Highway 417, also called the Queensway, at Bronson Avenue. If you follow Bronson Avenue south approximately two kilometers, the campus entrance will be on the right at the intersection of Bronson and Sunnyside Avenue. Yeah, highway 416, the Highway 416 connects to Highway 401. The interdate change is near Prescott, Ontario to Highway 417. If you follow Highway 416 to Highway 417 east, you can follow the Highway 417 and exit at Bronson Avenue and then follow Bronson Avenue south approximately two kilometers. The campus entrance will be on the right at the intersection of Bronson and Sunnyside Avenue. You can also choose to travel by taxi. There is a 15-minute taxi ride from the Ottawa train station to Carleton University Residence Commons, and this costs around $15. The taxi fare from the Ottawa bus terminal to Carleton University is approximately $10. The OC Transpo's new light rail system, or the O-Train, 
the O train provides service to Carlton University from the transit stations at Bayview and Greenboro with stops at Carling and Confederation Heights. If you're choosing to arrive by airplane, there's the Ottawa International Airport. The taxi ride from the Ottawa Airport to Carlton University residence commons costs approximately $15. There's also the Montreal Pierre Elliott Trudeau International Airport. Montreal is two hours by bus from Ottawa. Tickets from the Voyager Colonial Bus from Dorval Airport to the Ottawa Bus Terminal cost approximately $25 and can be purchased at the airport. Five buses run daily from Montreal to Ottawa from 1.20 to 10.20 p.m. Voyager Colonial Bus Telephone, their number is 613-238. 5900. The taxi fare from the Ottawa bus terminal to Carleton University is approximately $10. In terms of flights, there's also the Toronto Pearson International Airport. Toronto is approximately five hours from Ottawa by car, so we suggest that you fly from Toronto to Ottawa which is less than a one hour flight and be sure to reserve your flight in advance. Lastly, before in this video, I just wanted to mention how GrantMe is here to support you throughout your financial and academic journey. GrantMe has helped tons of students get into their first choice programs across Canada. And that is what our admissions program is exactly designed to do. Our admissions program helps to get grade 12 students into their first choice universities across Canada. So if you are interested in checking that out, feel free to head to the GrantMe website and do the admissions eligibility quiz where you can see if you would be a good fit for the program. That will be it for this video. Thank you for watching and have a nice rest of your day.